Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I'm doing here on my channel to create the drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this LED strip made by HELRC model number 2812 with the LED model number W554B. In this video guys, apart from the unboxing of this LED strip, I'm going to also tell you guys how to connect this LED strip to your flight controller and control it from the flight controller as well guys. So if you are new to assembling the drone guys, please watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before we can start with the unboxing guys, here you can see HGLRC has sent this LED strip into this anti-static packaging which is a semi-transparent packaging to prevent it from static charges or damages during the transport. So there is nothing more than the barcode and some of the model information. Uh, right here on the top of the packaging so let's quickly open the packaging and see the contents inside so when you remove the top cover guys here you can see there are two more packets that it comes so it has the LED strip module right in the separate package and the driver module in the separate package so these are the two things that you require for your LED strip to work properly so here you can see guys driver packaging comes with the driver module along with some of the shrinkable packaging and the instruction manual that is there on the back here in the LED strip guys you can see it comes with the connector some of the shrinking packaging and your four LED strip that goes on the four arms of your quadcopter now let's quickly open the driver module first as you can see guys the driver module comes with three wires black red and yellow for your power supply and ground and the signal and this is the very small form factor driver module that it comes with guys I am going to tell you all about this driver module in a minute uh, let's keep this aside this also comes with this instruction manual guys if you want you can go through this this comes with all the detailed information which i'm going to also tell you guys here in this video on how to connect this driver module power this up and also how to control the led lighting right from the driver module so i am going to keep this user manual aside for now if you want you can go through this now let's quickly open the led strips as well and see the contents inside So here you can see guys, it comes with the four shrinkable packaging. So once you are done with the connection, you can use this shrinkable packaging so as to cover it uh, from the top, which will prevent it from any damage from here onwards. So this is the LED strip guys that comes along with this. This already has a connecting jumper here on the top. These are the micro jumper guys. This comes with the jumper connection cable as well, which will be connected here on the top and then will be connected to the driver module as well guys. So this is also something nice where you don't have to do the soldering it is just plug and play kind of feature that it has so this is also something really nice here uh, in the led strip guys you can see it is made by HELRC. it comes with a branding here on the led strip guys have 5 volt ground and input pin and here you have 5 volt ground and output pin so th these are the sites where you can connect this jumper cable guys so here if you want to do it in a serial connection guys the signal can go from input pin and then you can use the same signal coming out from the same strip and then you can connect it to any other LED strip here onwards but guys if you do not have a driver module you can use this kind of connection so as to be able to connect this LED strip onto your drone where you can supply 5 volt ground uh, and then input signal and then from here you can use a 5 volt out ground out and the uh, LED signal or PWM signal out that you can connect in a circular fashion so as to be able to control this LED light without this driver module. So if you have this driver module guys, you don't need to use the output side of this LED strip. You can only use the input side and then connect using this jumper cable onto your driver module and control these LED strip right from this driver module itself. So this is one of the way guys you can power this LED strip. Now let us see in detail this LED strip power module. Here on the top guys, here you have two holes. These are M3 holes guys that you can uh, use to attach this driver module onto your drone frame. So it requires M3 screws to attach it to your drone frame. 
so as you can see guys the driver module is uh, really really small guys so it is very difficult to focus here very near to the camera guys so as to give you a bigger view so that you can view each of the pin details so on the front side guys you can see there are micro jumper connectors which are there four in numbers to connect it with each of these led strip that it came with so on the front side guys in addition to this micro jumper pad guys you can see here in the front of each jumper guys you have three copper pads as well so that if you by mistake damage these jumper pads you can also use this driver pads using the soldered wire right here in the front guys so this is also something really nice on the side of this driver module you can see there is a battery v bat and a ground connection so here you can power this module directly from the battery using 2s to up to 6s battery so this is also something really nice so that you can power this driver module right from the battery power supply on the other side guys here you can see there is a small button here on the top so this button duals the role of changing the color of the led strip and also changes the mode of operation of this led strip from blinking to permanently lit led so this can also be done by pressing this button for three seconds which changes the mode and when you press it for shorter duration than three seconds it changes the color of the led so this is also something really nice guys so if you do not have an option to control the leds right from the flight controller you can use this button uh, to directly control the color of the leds and the mode of operation of leds so now let us see on the back side guys so on the back side guys here you can see it clearly says it can take a battery voltage from 2s to 6s so it can directly be powered using the battery voltage coming directly out of the lipo batteries here you can see on the back side there are two additional pads here for the 5 volt and the pwm so if your controller supports the led pwm so you can connect this led pwm pad onto the flight controller and then you can remotely change the mode and the color of the leds right from the flight controller itself or your hand controller now let us look closely to the led strip itself so here on the front side guys you can see there are four leds which are there on the top side and then you have a micro connector jumper on two sides the reason for having two side jumper connection is clearly visible from the back side as you can see one of the side is input side and another one is output side this is because if you do not have the driver module and you only purchase this led module which is also sold separately by hglrc you can use one of the input signal and then input the 5 volt and ground from the flight controller and then you can loop it out using the output for the output led signal and 5 volt and ground to connect further more led strip right from this led strip itself so this is in the circular fashion input output input and output you can connect all four led strip and still will be able to control the lighting and the mode of operation of these led strip right from the flight controller without the use of the driver module but in this case guys you will have a lot of soldering to be done or a lot of jumper and cable management that requires to be done so it is easier when you have the driver module purchased along with this led strip guys so in addition to this guys it also came with some transparent uh, shrinkable packaging as well guys so this is also something really nice since this led strip is going to be exposed on the bottom side of the flight these are expected to take some damage at the time of a landing or during the flight or during the crash so if you have this transparent strip protecting your equipment so it will have minimal or no damage at the time of flight or during the crash so this is also something really nice which was included by HELRC so in addition to this guys it also supplied the wire connection as well guys so you can either power it up using the VBAC using the red black and yellow red is used for the 5 volt supply black is used for the ground and yellow is used for the signal wire guys so this is also something really nice so the color coded wires are already included with the module so as to be able to connect this to the flight controller using these wires so now let us go on to the pc and check with the wiring diagram on how to connect this led strip with each other and to the flight controller itself so guys here you can see i have here the pin diagram of hglrc 2812 driver and led module w554b so here i will tell you guys how to connect this driver module and led module to each other and also connect it to the flight controller as well so here on the top guys you can see there are two modes in which you can connect this led strip to the flight controller 
first one is without any connection to the flight controller you can directly operate this led strips using this driver module by connecting this to the battery voltage and the ground which can take a power from 2s to 6s lipo and then connect this led strip directly to this driver module using this jumper connection ensure that guys whenever you connect this jumper to this led strip you connect it to the input side or inside of the led strip connection so as you know guys as i have told you before there are two sides one is input side one is output side so ensure that guys whenever you connect this driver module onto this led strip you connect to the input side of this led strip so once you have connected this jumper connection and the led strip and also powered it up using the battery you can use this led button which is there on the side as i have shown you before when you short press this led button you'll be able to change the color and if you press and hold for three or more seconds you'll be able to change the modes so there are three four modes which it supports one is steady mode when the light will be permanently on flash mode where it will be flashing really fast the breathing light is more like a moving light and then you have a colorful slow flash so it will be a colorful flashing lights in a slow motion so the next method by which you can control this led lighting you will have the same connection similar to previous as you can see here just you will have an additional connection to pwm pad that you have on the back side of this driver module to be connected to the led output pin of your flight controller then you can connect the ground and then you have an option to power this led driver module with the 5 volt output or directly with the lipo battery so if you have already connected with the battery output module no problem but if you have not connected with the battery directly you can use a 5 volt output to directly connect it to the flight controller ensure that guys your 5 volt output pad is capable of outputting 2 ampere of current so this is something really important guys to take care at the time of connection so here it gives some more instructions for connecting this led strip so whenever you configure this led strip in the flight controller led light can be controlled via channel 5 or aux 1 port on your transmitter channel with channel forwarding enabled so this is specific to zeus f722 flight controller so if you have any other flight controller guys ensure that in the beta flight you enable the channel forwarding and then you can control this modes of operations or change the color of the light using your flight controller from your transmitter itself now let us quickly connect this led driver board to the flight controller that i have so this is the flight controller guys that i'm going to use along with this driver module on my drone this is a metexas f765 wse flight controller on this flight controller guys here you can see it has a dedicated led control output pins so led pin here is going to send the pwm signal and then you have 5 volt and ground that can be connected to 5 volt and the ground of this driver module and this port is also capable of supplying around 2 ampere of current as well so this is the perfect port guys to be able to connect the led strip and control so now let us quickly connect the driver module onto the flight controller like i have explained you before let us first connect the power supply right here to the 5 volt and then the ground onto the ground and the pwm signal to the led port of this flight controller so this is how you connect any led strip or any led rgb led strip that you have this is just one of the example of the led strip that i have here on this video guys but you can use this as a general principle to connect any of this led strip that is available in the market to connect it with the flight controller guys so guys i'm going to do another video in which i'm going to show you guys in detail how to install this led strips and this driver module onto the drone frame and then connect it to the flight controller and solder it up so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so this is it guys this is the quick unboxing and connection walkthrough of this aglrc 2812 led driver module and led strip w554b i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies